So in 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. I was aggressive in volunteering to go to Desert Shield at the time. I mean, it, I was in the army. I wasn't going to miss out on the only war we had. Desert Storm commenced. I went north into Iraq on February 24th on the day of the ground invasion. Compared to the Iraq of today, it was a camping trip compared to what five minutes in Iraq in 2007 or 2008 was like. I was sitting here in a decently paying sales job, basically complaining to my heart's content about things that I was not participating in and had no stake in. And that's not a particularly American way of living one's life. Having been in the Army before and having been a journalist before, I figured it was worth checking into seeing if I could embed as a freelancer with no real affiliation, but my idea was to write these stories and take these pictures about soldiers overseas and sell them to their hometown newspaper. And I can assure you, when I landed in Baghdad, I was horrified that I'd managed to put myself in this position. But I realized that I was here and I wasn't going anywhere, so I had to do what I could do to accomplish my mission. And thank God I was able to keep myself safe and publish some stories about a variety of soldiers. I was very opposed to the war in 2003. I thought it was the wrong war against the wrong enemy in the wrong place at the wrong time for the wrong reasons. I haven't changed my opinion since then. But nevertheless, we've been there now for five years. We can't leave. We can't leave because to do that betrays what we've done to the Iraqis who are trying to rebuild their country and trying to make, make a better way for themselves. But we can't stay because they don't want us to stay. Politically, it's easy for me to sit here and say, oh, I oppose the war and I'm against it and we should come home right away. But that's not a realistic solution. It's the way everybody wants it to be. But we've created the situation where we're obligated to stick it out and to stay as long as it needs to happen for us to, for us to fix the problem that we created over there. God willing, come Inauguration Day and Barack Obama takes the oath of office as president. We all win that day. America wins when Barack Obama becomes president because it validates America. It says that we have turned our back on the past. We get to win. The Confederates don't get to win. Jefferson Davis doesn't get to win. People who stand in schoolhouse doors don't get to win. We get to win. Yes, I understand he's a left of center politician, but he was gonna bring something better to America. And that's what we need in 2008. This isn't a game anymore. There's a lot going on and a lot going wrong. And we need to bring something different to the table than we've been doing for the last several years. So I'm gonna feel a lot of pride, God willing, on Inauguration Day. And I'm gonna be proud to be an American, same as I've always been proud. I'm proud to be a veteran. And I'm proud to have done what I did by going back to Iraq a couple of times to do my part to write about soldiers at war. But everybody needs to do their part now. And we need to take a big step forward once and for all.